Bit, 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 bit Napping TV. Hi and welcome to Bitnapping TV. My name is Tino and I'm a bitnapper. Today I'm going to show you two tips in Photo Magico. So one tiny one and a bigger one. Of course, you need Photo Magico. You can download a trial version of Photo Magico at boinks.com slash photomagico. And after downloading it, you of course can do the trick I'm going to show you. So the first thing I would like to show you is how you can add additional folders to your image library. As you can see here, there's only the pictures folder, but I would like to have another one. So I choose my finder where I have the desktop pictures folder selected, which I would like to add. All I have to do now, I move the desktop pictures folder, or let's say I drag it into the image library of Photo Magico. So I drop it and there it is. It shows me all the containing images and of course it also allows me to choose one of their folders. So let's say I would like to have a black and white one. And thinking of black and white, I would like to add a title. So I choose one image in here and I add a title. So let's say this is a title and perfect. But what if I would like to have a title with a solid background? At the moment it's not possible to do this in Photo Magico, so here's the workaround. First of all, you remove the title we have added. Now open your pages and I have of course to, to do this again. So open your pages where you will find shapes. Add one of the shapes and double click the shape and add the title. So let's say this is a title. So what you do next, you have to, let's say you have to fit the title to your slide. So I make a huge one, like a lower third or something like this. And of course, I would like to have this text to be in the center. What I have to do now, I have to export it in a way that Photo Magico can use it. And I know that Photo Magico can use RTFD files. So I, all I have to do now, I click on File in Pages and choose Export. There I have to choose RTF for exporting it as an RTF document. And I choose Next. I name it Title and I put it into my, onto my desktop. So I click on export, I hide my pages window again and what I have to do now is I have to choose my desktop or there it is, there's my RTFD file if I hit the spacebar it shows me the contents and now I drag it again into the image or the slide I would like to use it. I drop it down here, at the moment it's a little bit small but this doesn't matter because it's a vector it's a vector graphic, so I can zoom in as much as I want. So I'm zooming in and I'm moving it into this image. This is the easiest way to add tiles with a solid background. It, it also works if you would like to use some tiles with opacity so that you have a nice look. So, but this depends on you. Yeah, that's it for today. Um, if you would like to get informed when the latest new or the latest shows are available, follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter account is Bidnapping TV. Thank you for watching. Submit your tips and questions at www.bitnapping.tv.